വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു യു ജി സി നെറ്റ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ക്ലാസ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രീവിയസ് ക്ലാസ് വി വ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് ദ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് അമേരിക്കൻ ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ പാർട്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് വി കവർ ദ ഫൈവ് പീരീഡ്സ് നൗ ഫൈവ് മോർ പീരീഡ്സ് ആർ ടു ബി കവർ അണ്ടർ ദി ടോപ്പിക് ദ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് അമേരിക്കൻ ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ നൗ ബിഫോർ മൂവിംഗ് ഓൺ ടു ദി സിക്സ്ത് പീരീഡ് let's recall to mind once more the 10 periods coming under the periods of american literature first pre columbian era second the colonial period third the revolutionary age the fourth one the early national period the fifth one the american romantic period also called the american renaissance period or the transcendentalist period and the sixth one the realist period and the seventh one the naturalist period and the eighth one the modern period also called the world war periods the ninth one the beat generation writers and the last one the contemporary period the realistic period of american literature lasts from 1865 to 19 not not So realism as an aesthetic movement was in large part a reaction against the idealizing tendencies of literary romanticism. So romanticism was just idealizing man and his life. So realism forced the writers to depict work realistically from romantic ideas of you know imagination and the alienation the writers started to depict life as it is that means realism the human cost of the civil war in the united states was immense more than 2.3 million soldiers fought in the war and perhaps as many as 851000 people died in 1861 to 1865 so during the civil war time that means 1861 to 1865 american civil war so many soldiers fought and so many of them died so because of this you know reason walt whitman the famous poet walt whitman claimed that a great literature will arise out of the era of those four years and what emerged in the following decades was a literature that presented a detailed and an unembellished vision of the world as it truly was this was the essence of realism so romanticism giving way to realism this was what the poet walt whitman said that means a great literature will arise out of the era of those four years said walt whitman so realistic depiction of life will come and the realistic writers depicted life realistically the hardships the soldiers had to face and so many such depictions of life in realistic mode certain romantic notions of the american renaissance were replaced by realistic depiction of american life such as those represented in the works of william dean howells henry james and mark twain so in this um, writers works we can see the tendencies of american realism and at this period i mean the realistic period of american literature also gave rise to regional writing such as the works of sara on jewel k chopin bret hart mary wilkins freeman george w k bow so regional writing also flourished during the realistic period in american literature and some writers who concentrated on their own place and people 
So these writers include Sarah Ann Jewett, Kate Chopin, Bret Hart, Mary Wilkins Freeman, and George W. Cable. In addition to Walt Whitman, another master poet, Emily Dickinson, appeared in this time. So also in poetry, besides Walt Whitman, another person, a female figure, emerged to dominate the area of American poetry, Emily Dickinson. American realist writers generally focused on the particular details of the geographical area of the country they knew best, recurring the distinctive manners, colloquial speech patterns, and distinguishing traditions of its inhabitants. So, the American realist writers focused on regional style of writing concentrating on a particular region, the manners, colloquial speech, etc. Now the next period, the seventh period, is the naturalist period. So remember, the first period, pre-Columbian era, the second colonial period, the third, revolutionary age, fourth, the early national period, Fifth, the American Romantic period or the American Renaissance period. Sixth, the realistic period. Seventh, the naturalistic period. The naturalistic period of American literature starts from 1900 and it lasts till 1914. So it was a very short period. Naturalism, like realism, was a literary movement that drew inspiration from French authors of the 19th century who sought to document through their fiction the reality that they saw around them, particularly among the middle and working classes living in cities. So the realistic period writers were inspired by French authors, so like them, naturalism also took inspiration from the French writers. So the outgrowth of literary realism was naturalism. And the main feature in naturalistic work would be comparison with the nature, comparing human beings with the animals and as such comparisons we can see in naturalism. In realistic writing such comparisons would be not that much. The American naturalist writers such as Frank Norris, Theodore Dreiser, and Jack London created some of the most powerful raw novels in American literary history. So the famous American naturalist writers include Frank Norris, Theodore Dreiser, and Jack London. The characters are victims who fall prey to their own base instincts and to economic and sociological factors. So remember the famous naturalist writers of American literature, Frank Norris, Theodore Dries, and Jack London. Edith Wharton wrote some of her most beloved classics, such as The Custom of the Country, Ethan From, and The House of Moth during this time period. So during the American naturalist period, the writer Edith Wharton wrote some of her most beloved classical works. Edith Wharton's works include The Custom of the Country, A Time From, and The House of Mirth. Now we will move on to the eighth period, that is the modern period. We can also call the World War periods from 1914 to 1935, or we can say from 1914 to 1945. So remember once more the periods, first of all pre-Columbian era, then the colonial period, the revolutionary age, the early national period, 
the American Romantic period or the American Renaissance period, then the realistic period, the naturalistic period, and then now we are with the modern period or the World War periods. The modern period in American literature or the World War periods of American literature lasts from 1914 to 1939 or 1914 to 1945 we can say. After the American Renaissance, the modern period is the second most influential and artistically rich age of American writing. So after American Renaissance, the modern period is the period where so many promising writers showed the talent. In the modern period writers include such a powerhouse poets such as E. E. Cummings, Robert Frost, Ezra Pound, William Carlos Willems, Mariana Moore, Langston Hughes, Carl Sandbach, T. S. Eliot, Wally Stevens, and Edna St. Vincent Millay. So remember the poets E. E. Cummings, Robert Frost, Ezra Pound, William Carlos Williams, Mariana Moore, Langston Hughes, Carl Sandberg, T.S. Eliot, Wally Stevens, and Edna St. Vincent Milling. The novelists include, and a novelist and also some other prose writers of the time, include Villa Cather, John Dos Passos, Eric Wharton, F. Scott Fitzgerald, John Steinbach, Ernest Hemingway, William Faulkner, Gertrude Stein, Sinclair Lewis, Thomas Wolfe, and Sherwood Anderson. So remember the novelist and the prose writers, Villa Cather, John Dos Passos, Eric Wharton, F. Scott Fitzgerald, John Steinbach, Ernest Hemingway, William Faulkner, Jartur Stein, Sinclair Lewis, Thomas Wolfe, and Sherwood Anderson. The modern period contains within it certain major movements including the Jazz Age, the Harlem Renaissance, and the Lost Generation. So the modern period contains so many movements, subcategories or movements, jazz age writers or the jazz writers, the Harlem Renaissance, the lost generation. We will discuss all these in the coming classes. And many of these writers were influenced by World War I and the disillusionment that followed, especially the expatriates of the lost generation. So they were really sad because of the world wars. And this reflected in the style of writing, especially in lost generation writers and all we could really see. Furthermore, the Great Depression and the New Deal resulted in some of America's greatest social issue writing, such as the novels of William Faulkner, and uh, John Steinbeck and the drama of Eugene O'Neill. So another type of uh, work, you know, appeared because of the New Deal of the Great Depression. So the New Deal was a series of programs and projects instituted during the Great Depression period by the American President Franklin D. Roosevelt that aimed to restore prosperity to Americas. So during the depression, American depression, Great Depression period, President came with some ideas in order to lead the people to prosperity. So that is called the New Deal. So such ideas created some problems in the society. So the writers addressed such issues as well. The writers like Willem Faulkner, John Steinbach, Eugene O'Neill, etc. Next is the ninth period, that is the Beat Generation. So remember once more, pre-Columbian era, the colonial period, the revolutionary age, 
the early national period the american romantic period or the american renaissance period the realistic period the naturalistic period the modern period the beat generation so the beat generation writers last from 1944 to 1962 a beat writers such as jack kerouac and allen ginsberg were devoted to anti traditional literature and poetry and prose and anti establishment politics so beat writers they came up with revolutionary ideas like homosexuality and so many such issues they projected through literature especially writers like allen ginsberg jack kerouac etc this time period saw a rise in a confessional poetry and a sexuality in literature which resulted in legal challenges and a debates over censorship in america so the beat generation time of the beat generation writers also saw the coming of confessional poets William S. Barrow and Henry Miller are two writers whose works faced censorship challenges. These two greats, along with other writers of the time, also inspired the counterculture movements of the next two decades. The counterculture movement that was from the early 1960s to the 1970s. categorized a group of people known as hippies who opposed the war in vietnam commercialism and overall establishment of societal norms so the counter culture movement was inspired by the writings of william s barrow henry miller etc now we have reached the last period that is the contemporary period that means after 1939 or we can say after 1945 to the present so remember once more first pre columbian era the colonial period the revolutionary age the early national period the american romantic period or the american renaissance period the realistic period the naturalistic period the modern period or the world war periods the beat generation and the contemporary period the contemporary period from 1939 or we can say from 1945 after world war second american literature has become broad and varied in terms of theme mode and purpose So after World War II, the dissolution of the war started to reflect, and also the effect of modernism and a such kind of dissolution, or we can say existential ideas, and everything we can see in contemporary period literature. Then the period also saw the coming of new criticism. then also the new york intellectuals a group of critics like philip roth alfred kazin and erwin howe so remember during the contemporary period we have first of all new criticism and then the new york intellectuals there were a group of critics so remember the new york intellectuals philip roth alfred kazin Erwin Howe. Then we have uh, the Black Mountain poets. The Black Mountain poets include Charles Olson, Robert Greeley, and uh, Robert Duncan. So the Black Mountain poets include Charles Olson, Robert Greeley, and Robert Duncan. then we had the new york poets the new york poets include frank o'hara 
కెన్నత్ కోచ్ అంటే జాన్ యాష్బరి సో రిమెంపర్ ద న్యూయార్క్ పాయింట్స్ ఇన్క్లూడ్ ఫ్రాంక్ ఓహారా కెన్నత్ కోచ్ అంటే జాన్ యాష్బరి now let's analyze the famous contemporary period american writers kurt vonnegut amit han john updike eudora welty james baldwin sylvia plath arthur miller tony morrison ralph ellison john didion thomas pynchon elizabeth bishop tennessee williams philip roth Sandra Sisna Ross, Richard White, Tani Krishna, Adriana Rich, Bernard Malamud, Saul Bello, Joyce Carol Ots, Tonton Balder, Alice Walker, Edward Alby, Norman Mailer, John Bath, Maya Angelou, Robert Penn Barron, etc. once more the contemporary period writers of american literature include kurt vonnegut amit tan john updike eudora welty james baldwin sylvia plath arthur miller tony morrison ralph ellison john didion thomas pynchon elizabeth bishop tennessee williams philip roth Sandra Sisna Ross, Richard White, Tony Krishna, Adriana Rich, Bernard Malamud, Saul Bello, Joyce Carol Ots, Tonten Bald, Alice Walker, Edward Alby, Norman Mailer, John Bath, Maya Angelou, Robert Penn Barron, etc. now we have covered the 10 periods of american literature once more pre columbian era the colonial period the revolutionary age the early national period the american romantic period or the american renaissance period the realistic period the naturalistic period the modern period or the world war periods the beat generation the finally the contemporary period that's all for today in the next class we will discuss one of charles dickens novel last titled the chimes the chimes written by charles dickens